Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rowana and in this video, I'm sharing with you my foundation collection. I decided that I wanted to start going through my um, items and pull out and declutter and then I will decide if I'm gonna keep stuff and get rid of stuff, give away or, and just try to use up this year. I have not looked at my foundation you know foundations in a while but at one point I was collecting a lot of foundations um, because I was having a hard time and I realized I had to kind of mix my foundations all the time but then I had my skin changing like I was combo sometimes and I would get oily let's dive into what I have here with me and what I may get rid of I don't think I may get rid of a lot of them I'm just saying that out front because I did declutter uh, about a year ago some foundations and I right now I think I just maybe will have to try and use some of them to see if they'll work for me and then declutter because my skin has changed so much within the past year I should have sorted these out a little better but <laughs> You know I me, mean, I didn't. Actually, I've been. I was trying to run and grab and do this video before a lot of distractions, um, but that didn't happen. If you hear um, videos going on, or a little chit chatter, of course Jordan is with me. The first one I pull out here is this Revlon. Um, it's the new Candid Photo Ready Natural Finish Anti Pollution Foundation in 500. I got this on sale at Target, I think sometime last year. Never used it, never tried it, and it's totally new. What kind of determined me to try use it is that I find that the cover was super flimsy, which I know is so trivial, but I will try this and see how it works. The color is 500 Almond. Drugs, sticking with Drugstore, this was bought almost the same time I bought that. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Liquid makeup base foundation d2 is what it says there which is sun beige i haven't tried this as yet have zero knowledge about this so i will not um i have to use all these things i should stop saying that let me see what else did i oh i think i picked this up almost around that same time too this is a cover girl true blend matte made so they're both true blend but this one says matte made and this is in caramel beige this one was sun beige and this looks a little too dark for me as well this looks more like my color i've had this foundation for a while and it's actually dark but i mix this with foundations that seem to be too light for me this is the maybelline superstay makeup micro flex formula no transfer 24 hours where it's not this is, I mean, this is video is not a review video, but this particular foundation, I um, like the formula and the only reason I have not purchased this particular brand is because I have so many foundations, but I really like this foundation. I love mixing it with other foundations. Next, we have the LA Color Truly Matte Long Wearing Foundation, and this is all gunky and messed up because the cap is just so messed up. This is Warm Honey, and I also mix this sometimes with other foundations i should have put this in project plan to try and finish up since it's used next we have this wet and well foundation photo foundation this is bronze beige and i have quite a few in this wet and well brand now this is a little too light for me and so i used to mix it with this particular one from um la colors or with the maybelline and how many let me see this is bronze beige do i have more of it no i think yeah this is the only bronze beige i have and i think i picked this up and i like the formula but then i realized it was too light for me and i kept it because i knew i had darker foundation then i picked up three of the desert beige which is my color and i absolutely love this foundation i used it all of last year and it's definitely a favorite because I have three. That's crazy, isn't it? One of those needs to be in, is I think in Project Pan. Next for drugstore, we have these Maybelline Fit Me. This is in matte and poreless. I think this maybe was in a Project Pan, but I marked it anyhow. Sometimes I just mark my foundation just because if I put it in a Project Pan, I put it in any project and trying to use up or anything. At least I know where I started. This one is in 320 Natural Tan. Love that. That is my color. And then I have two dewy and smooth 
and they're bought in 230 i got them on sale um on amazon i think it was like 290 something two dollars and 90 something cents for both of them which is like 150 for one and i thought that was a steal of a deal i have used this one of them already and i do like mixing it and i used this last year it's okay then what's in current project pan is my l'oreal 12 hour foundation in the infant infallible total cover now i've used a lot of others from the infallible line i think i do have one here this is the pro mat yeah i have two pro mats here so this is 308 which is what we currently use in i'm currently using on project pan and then i have these which are 108 i think yeah 108 and 109 from the pro mat so those are new next i have this tart amazonian clay full coverage foundation in what color is this one i don't remember oh tan deep sand i love this now if i have to repurchase a found this is a foundation i could recommend and suggest could be a possible repurchase once i finish up these five million foundations i got these foundations for a dollar and i still have the stickers on them this one says two dollars but when i scan it it was a dollar um this is a maybelline dream satin liquid foundation this is number 75 in natural beige and these are new still liquid satin and this one is dark this one is caramel i think initially bought it since i was going to give it to my sister i still need to do that and uh, so that's one that was gonna that will come out and this one is honey beige which i'm gonna keep for me oh there's one that's open actually this is <clears throat> this is a dream liquid mousse, so it's different from that and this is the airbrush finish in natural beige this one is a little lighter for me and it will be one i would have mixed with my darker foundation i picked up this um cover girl i think also with this cover girl these two i picked up this together this one is t30 which is um t30 is warm honey and this one is m80 which is caramel beige they're both matte foundations i don't i'm not too familiar with the cover girl foundations with the letters like what does m mean and what does t mean but i should do some research on that since i have both of those this other cover girl bought it at target and these were like clearance out to like two something they were all 75 percent off and i think i in total i picked up like five foundations from target and then with the then i picked up some the what did i pick up from walmart what did i, I got the two something i picked up from walmart that was on clearance or was this one from walmart i can't remember but that time in particular i remember i picked up about six or seven foundations that were on clearance out kind of crazy oh these were the ones i picked up from walmart correct that's those are the walmart stickers so yeah this one is the Outlast Active 24 Hours Foundation. It has sunscreen in it um, and it is natural tan. Never used. I've had this foundation for a long, long time. This is the Maybelline Super Say Better Skin. And the color that I have here is nude beige. This is again a little too light. So I mix it. And then I have this LA Girl pro coverage foundation i bought this when i was in trinidad last time i never used it i need to use it it looks like it needs shaking up i hope it didn't go bad on me and the color i picked up was soft honey yeah that's looks like oh no it's mixing then when i was in trinidad same trip i also picked up this sasha cream to powder foundation in perfect beige um i don't want to open it because i've never opened it i'll just leave that there then i got this from somewhere one of those things oh much influenced i think yeah influenced it's the estee lauder futurist hydro rescue foundation in wheat three and two wheat this foundation is way too dewy so you definitely will have to i mixed it when i tried it i didn't like it on its own and it definitely has to mix with like a really matte thick foundation it's a very very dewy and light then we have my MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in NC35. I wear, I can wear this. I got this as a CCO and I kept, I bought it. Um, but I usually, for the Pro Longwear, use the NC40. 
but it's still if I works well because it just oxidizes if you know the prolonged wear formula it oxidizes so does the studio fix fluid this is in NC 40 then we have this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer 2-in-1. This, this is new and the color that I have here is Golden Neutral. This is the second one that I have. I really, really swore by this foundation a long time back and I picked up this and never actually got to use in it. Then we have this Tarte Foundation that I purchased two years ago. Never used, still in box. Um, it has SPF 15 and this one is in medium tan golden <sighs> still in box never used and the last foundation that I have is my Colourpop no filter stick my sister convinced me to get this like a year and a half ago bought it never used it this is in dark medium dark 117 neutral you know I never opened this medium dark is not a color I usually use but I find this looks like it might be too dark but I think I did I went online and tried to color match but I noticed since like last year to this year um, I am a tad lighter because of some of my foundations I'm having to mix them to make them lighter or just not use a darker powder I usually bronze up a little more and I'm not doing that right now just to have my foundations matching. I'm just kind of packing everything back in here. Um, but that's my foundations that I currently have right now. I have three in my 2021 project pan, so I'm hoping to finish three. But based on this, I think I need to work on more than three. Um, I do think some of them I will declutter in the process of trying it out if I don't like it to get it out of my collection. But I think what I'm gonna try and do now that I've pulled all of them together because um, they have been in different areas in my collection. I will definitely go through and see what I will keep after I try using it and just work on using up all the foundations that are currently used and open and then move on to the newer ones. Thank you guys so much for watching until my next video. Bye bye.